Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 19. So today we are going to get back on track. We're going to start a new applet, the Opportunities Applet, and I'm going to show you the three pipelines and five main phases of business inside of each of those pipelines. Before we do, though, I did want to point out a couple of things inside of our notifications bell. Back on day 18, we talked about referrals and sending and receiving referrals. Just wanted to let you know that you can see that we did get a referral update that the referral we sent from this demo account to Marty Miller was accepted. So we got that update. And then when Marty actually moved Marge through the opportunity pipeline from cultivate to appointment, we also got a notification there. Either one of these two notifications does allow us to have a view referral button and we can click on view referral and get taken in again to our referrals applet. We would just want to make sure instead of pending, we choose active and we can then see that referral that we sent out to Marty and then Marge and you can see the pipeline phase has now been updated. Originally was in cultivate and now is in appointment. So just kind of a follow up to day 18 in addition, we've got a new update, which isn't for new for you guys because you watched yesterday's video and you saw the cool new repeating tasks enhancement. So that came out today as well. But if you watched yesterday's video, you're already familiar with that. So we're going to mark all our notifications as red and we're going to come into the opportunities applet here on the left hand side. That's our handshake icon. We're going to open up opportunities and walk through an overview of your three main pipelines and five main phases of business. So when we open up opportunities, first of all, we're going to get multiple tabs at the top. So if you are an, a solo agent, you're going to see your name here at the top and then all opportunities. Essentially, the first initial home screen, this uh, you know demo MC or your name tab shows all your opportunities in a visual standpoint, right? So you can kind of see them visually through each one of the pipelines and the five main phases. If we switch to all opportunities, basically we're just going to get a list view. So it's the same opportunities. It's just a different way of actually viewing them. We'll come back to all opportunities later and we'll show you how you can do some filters and some things like that. Uh, if you have a team, you're going to see multiple tabs up here. So you'll see a tab that has your name and then your team name and then all opportunities, and then you'll see one that has uh, discussions between team members available. In the actual tab here, you can see we have three main pipelines of business. That's gonna be our listing-based pipeline, our buyer-based pipeline, and then our lease, so either our tenant or landlord-based pipeline. At the very bottom, we've got some additional stats, and then a closing this month section. So you can see as you continue to grow your business, it's going to start to show you how many transactions you have that were listings, buyers, or leases. And then we're going to get into the probable and potential income when we create an opportunity. I'll show you what that looks like. And when we dive into the stages of our phases tomorrow, that's going to make a little more sense as well. But here on the home screen, you can see you have five phases of business. These phases are hard coded. There is no way to change the name of each one of these phases. Now, when we dive into each one of the phases, we're going to see stages and those are customizable. But you can see our goal is to cultivate a relationship. If I talk to someone and they say they're interested in buying, selling, investing, leasing, renting in the next six months, maybe up to the next 12 months, I want to go ahead and create an opportunity at that point such that I don't forget that person down the road. So I would create that opportunity and I would put them in my cultivate phase. As we get closer to their timeline where they're looking to purchase, sell, invest, lease, landlord, we're going to eventually get to the point where we're ready to meet to discuss what their parameters are around their transaction. Obviously at that point, we're gonna to wanna to move our opportunity from cultivate into appointment. Now, when that appointment goes really well and we have some signed agreements showing that we're working together, that's when we're going to move to active. I've seen a lot of people use active only when they get somebody actually, uh, you know, they're showing them homes or the, the listing is live on the market. Guys, you can be active and be staging a home. 
you can be taking photos of the home, right? You can be prepping that, that home for the listing. On the buy side, you can be showing them properties. I've shown people properties for eight years, true story, before they actually just recently closed on a transaction. So in that sense, I would have that opportunity in this active phase for eight years, and I did, right? Not for eight years because we didn't have command eight years ago, but I did have them in the pipeline for about two and a half years. You can also see under contract, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Once we go under contract, we're gonna move the opportunity to this phase, and then ultimately once they get closed out, we'll put them in the closed phase. Inside this initial tab, again, we talked about potential income and probable income. I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. We also have the Create Opportunity button. This is where we start all of our transactions. We'll actually create one of these later this week or next. And finally, if you click on the gear icon, this is where you're gonna get into the opportunity settings, specifically around client updates. We're gonna talk about those. We're gonna talk about opportunity tags. We're gonna talk about your ability to actually archive opportunities as well. So stay tuned for that, but welcome to our newest applet here on day 19. The opportunities applet are three main pipelines and five main phases of business. Tomorrow we're gonna to dive into stages and I'm gonna show you how those can be customized. We'll talk about checklists and perhaps client update items and continue to build through the opportunities pipeline in the next several days. As always, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.